Hey, it's Zev DeMatos from Xbox360Fanboy.com, and this week for community content, we're looking at a brand new map on Avalanche called Oberon the Great. Now, at first glance, it might look like a map we've already shown you because there's a giant spaceship in the middle of the map, but actually this one is different, and it's actually a little bit more in-depth. What it is is you start off as an attacker or a defender. The attackers start off on the starship, which is in the sky, which is what you're seeing right now, and the defenders start on the other side of the map. The defenders start with a bunch of vehicles, including a scorpion, and a couple of teleporters in order to get straight to this area, uh, but the whole point is to get from the defender side in order to get on top of the ship so you can capture the flag and bring it back to your area. Now you can also use this map to play Team Slayer or Slayer, but it does really work a lot better just for capture the flag, so keep that in mind if you're looking to mess around with it. Now when you start on the attacker side, you have a few options on actually getting to the spaceship. You can do that by grabbing either the Hornet or Chopper that are spawned at your base and flying on top of the ship and in infiltrating it that way, or you can do it from the ground. There's a teleporter right here at the, bo the bottom of the base uh, that will transport you right into the ship and it actually makes it a little bit easier that way. Um, if you're defending it, if you want to take out the people who are actually trying to attack you from the air, on the inside of the ship there's a, a room underneath it where you can go and grab your own Hornet and fly and defend it that way. And doing that will actually help you uh, cut off at least one of the ways that the attackers are getting in. Throughout the round as it progresses you'll notice a bunch of fusion coils that are actually just appearing out of thin air and shooting around the area. Uh, this is sort of like a defense force that's uh, around the ship. Uh, the fusion coils will be just flying around in specific areas so it, it sort of makes it a little harder to attack from the ground um, especially from the uh, opposite side of the base because if you're f driving in with a, a scorpion tank for instance that does make it harder if you have fusion coils exploding in front of you. This teleporter down here is actually your third option to getting inside of the ship, and that might make it a little bit easier, but if uh, you, there's a good defense going on with the, the defenders, you'll actually end up uh, not being able to get in through that area, because hopefully they'll actually be doing their job and keeping you away from there. This is the attacker side of the base. You'll notice that there's the Hornet and Banshee we're talking about, a bunch of vehicles on the bottom like the Wraith and the Scorpion Tank. So you have a few armament options if you decide that you want to attack using a vehicle. You have a wide array of, of weaponry to use. So that's it this week for community content. Hopefully we'll be able to set up another community night and go through some of the past content that we've actually showcased here on the website. And always remember, if you have a great map that you want to share, make sure to email us and tell us about it. For this and everything else on the Xbox 360, make sure to check out Xbox360Fanboy.com.